Was the wig bland? Has the wig been bland? Did we have to spice it up a bit? Is that why a GWR certificate was cooked? Chef Smith will have to come and answer some questions for us. But there is that story. And there is also the part where the Chief Justice is being accused of collaborating with the President to saturate the apex court with justices who sympathize with the new patriotic party. There's that story. And then, of course, I'll touch on the fact that Team Eternity has resolved their copyright infringement issue with Kwame Miki. Welcome to This Week in News. I am Etwanam Kumashi. Like we do, let's do a quick recap of some of the top stories for the week. Let's head straight to court. So the Chief Justice suggested some names, you know, for the appointment of Supreme Court judge. And the NDC is saying that this is a blatant disregard for authority and due processes. Why? We have a couple of months to elections. Why are we appointing new Supreme Court judges at this time? They accuse the Chief Justice Gertrude Tokonu of collaborating with the President to, you know, saturate and populate the Supreme Court with justices who sympathize with the ruling government. With that issue, there is also something that people have raised questions about, and that is the fact that Justice Ifia Sewa Asariboche finds her name on the list. If you do not know her, she is the presiding judge on the Japa AG Ato Castle forcing case. Now, with regards to that story as well, still in court, Jakpa says that he was not aware that accessories needed for the ambulance had been cleared by the Ministry of Health. Then why are we in court? Why is he being prosecuted? Why is there a whole case being made about the fact that he presented some defunct buses to government? There is that story. And of course, Napo is a principled man. Napo is very confident. These are the sentiments of MPP members in response to allegations that Dr. Matthew Opoku Pempe is arrogant. We all know Napo was chosen as Baumier's candidate. He was in fact endorsed this week as his running mate. Moving forward, Napo has said that he would definitely join forces with Dr. Baumia in breaking the eight in the upcoming December elections. Team Eternity also brought their lawyers. Kwame Miki brought his lawyers. They have resolved their issue amicably. They have reached a settlement, as it were, stating that uh, any royalty that will be generated from the song Defe Defe will be split between both parties. When Kwame Miki was asked whether he received an apology or money, he said he actually had both. He just will not disclose how much he got from Team Eternity. Now, to the story that made ways this week, Chef Smith. Guinness World Record said they are not even aware that there has been any form of attempt for the longest cooking marathon. So it was all a lie. The one who still holds that record is Alan Fisher for 119 hours, 57 minutes, and some 16 seconds. The Chefs Association of Ghana also say that they know nothing about the whole thing. They saw their logo on it while he was, you know, doing his attempt and all of that, and they tried to reach out to him, but they did not get a response. And of course, elsewhere, after the stuttering, and the mumbling. A lot of people have said that Joe Biden should step down from the presidential race because he's not fit to compete against Donald Trump. We all watched the debate. But the White House is saying that he will still run for the presidency. This is in response to certain claims made by even Democrats themselves saying that, um, well, per the analysis and the figures they have seen so far, maybe the baton should be handed over to Kamala Harris. Do you think so? And in the UK, Keir Starmer will be leading the Labour Party as they secured the most seats in Parliament. There are more stories on starfm.com.gh as well as all our social media platforms, Instagram, X, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll come your way again next week. I am Etwanam Kumashi. Do enjoy the rest of your weekend.